Welcome to Kingdom Convoy. I'm your cook, Romel Moore. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Today, we're going to be making a special dish. It is called laksa curry. I'm going to, I'm going to be using cod and a few other uh, ingredients. It's normally made with um, shrimp or prawns. All right. Uh, so as we get started, I'm going to start with this is some tofu. Take it out the package. Tofu is very nutritious and um, very easy. You can actually cut it with a butter knife, but I'm going to make uh, some nice big squares and then we're going to fry it and it's going to go into uh, the dish. So. Normally, you will cut it in half going across, but I, like I said, I want some big squares. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut it into three big pieces. Then do three again. All right, let me see. Those big. It's kind of big. Maybe I will. Maybe I will go across. So you can just hold it down. Like I said, you can do this with a butter knife and go straight across. All right. Now, right quick, I want to fry these nice and crispy on each side. All right. And then we'll get to the next step. Okay. Now what you want to do, because tofu, it absorbs a lot. It's stored uh, and refrigerated in a lot of uh, water and so when you cut it it's pretty wet you want to dry it off with a paper towel because you're getting ready to put it in grease so you want to dry it pretty good and we're just going to fry each side don't need a lot of oil at all the water just let it cook for about a minute on each side then we're going to take them out now I've already flipped them See, nice look golden brown I'm going to take them out And these are going to go very nicely in the curry laksa sauce. Now today, because you know this program is about feeding you in a natural and spirit, feeding your body and your soul. So today I want to talk about having a spirit of excellence. The word of God says that whatever you do, do it unto the glory of God. So I want to zoom in on that as uh, we finish this dish today. Uh, it took me a while to even begin this program because I wanted to have certain things in order. I wanted to make sure that it was done with a spirit of excellence. I may not have the cameraman and all of the ex, uh, great technology, but I wanted to make sure I had a decent logo. I had an apron with Kingdom Convoy, a presentable kitchen, and have a good working knowledge of my cutting tools, the vegetables and meats that I'm dealing with. So everything that we do, we should do it with a spirit of excellence. I always say, if you imagine the Lord watching you, you always put your, be your best foot forward. We're going, I'm going to go ahead and take these out and we get to the next step. The, the next step is I want to saute some mushrooms right quick. Just a little bit of oil. saute it for a minute um, 
Now, with this dish, you can use some uh, shiitake mushrooms and soak them in some water because it, it's kind of like a puffer fish. You just absorb the water and, and blows right up right in front of you. Uh, if you like those type of mushrooms, uh, you can just soak those in water for a few minutes right before you bowl it. But I'm, I'm not using those today. I just want to saute these right quick. Tastes a little better. They already kind of pre-cooked. All right, these are pretty good. Turn the heat down. Goes on a paper towel. We'll get to the next step. So the next step is I'm going to, I'm using cod for this dish. And so I'm just going to cut it up in nice little chunks. It'll all make sense once you see the end when it comes together. So as I was saying that um, the Lord had dealt with me when I was a teenager about doing things with a spirit of excellence. Uh, so from the first time I had my first job, no matter how remedial the task was, I always imagined the Lord standing there watching me. And so that meant that I never slacked. That meant that I always put my best into it. And I tell you something, when you live life like that, promotion comes very quickly and very easily because there's a spirit of excellence on you. So let's see here. I'm just going to cut this down the middle. So as you can see, we're going to have nice square chunks. So I'm going to season this a little bit, set this to the side, and then we're getting ready to make um, the paste. Well, we're going to add the paste and get this cooking. Okay, so I'm going to use the wok. You can use a regular nonstick skillet. Turn this up. Put it a little oil. As you can see, of course, I use grapeseed oil. Um, that's what I have now, but I normally use avocado oil. So we want to let, let this oil heat up for a second. And what I have here is a red curry paste. That's what we're going to start off with. You can get this in most grocery stores. Um, I was going to actually make the paste, but it would be a little too time consuming. So as the oil heats up, put it in here. You want to let it cook, marinate for a while. So as it cook, the paste begin to break down. Just move it around a little bit. It produces a very nice fragrance. We want to just let that break down, break it up a little bit. You might have to add a little bit more oil, but not too much. I'm just going to let it cook. Now that the paste is broken up a little bit, this is what we want to do. We want to 
add the meat. Let it mix in with it. And then we're going to add the sauce. Nice big chunks of cod. I just season it with a little salt and pepper. Not much is needed. Now the cod is kind of soft, so I'm gonna handle this very, very gingerly. You normally be using meat or other seafood, you can handle it a, a little more harsh, a little rougher. We just want to mix it in with the soft, with the um, with the curry paste first. Now what I'm going to do is add some coconut milk and chicken stock. Also, I'm going to add some curry paste. I mean, curry powder. A little bit of salt. And my chicken stock. Let's mix that in. I promise you, this dish is delicious. We'll turn this up a little bit because we want to bring this to a boil. A nice simmer rather. That coconut milk makes it smell so good. Again, this is fish, so I'm being look gentle with it. Look at that. I'm going to let this come to a, a nice little simmer and we'll be back.